How to identify the real agency guarantee admission? There are only two kinds of real guarantee admission. The first one is to donate directly to the target college, we call it friend door, plus side door, that is private to through admission director of the dean of department. The students who need to donate are students who apply for Ivy League schools, undergraduate study. However, if a parent directly donate to the target university, it does not guarantee the students will be admitted, no matter how much donation they make. The target school just say priority admission, but none guarantee. If the donation is made through a trusted intermediary, it will be a different story. The target university will tell the truth privately with the intermediary, which the target university has been cooperating with for many years. And then the intermediary will donate to the target university and the intermediary will give 100% guarantee admission to the parents. There are four disadvantages of parents donating to directly to the Ivy schools. For example, uh, first, target schools does not give any promise to any parent to guarantee admission. And it must be illegal for schools to make explicit promise to parents. So they would never do that. Second, the parents donate directly to the Ivy League schools. Once the child is not admitted, the donated money cannot be returned because the, don the donation is not a transaction. Besides, the uh, Ivy League schools does not give the parent any commitment. There was a case of American parent who directly donated three million US dollars to Stanford, but his child was still rejected and all the money donated was not returned. Third, usually the targeted colleges will not directly collect donations from parents. The main purpose of the college is, the, uh, is to avoid supervision and conceal the identity, the enrolled, the donated students from the FBI. Therefore, the target university do not directly collect the donation from parents. They collect the donation through the external inter intermediary foundation or companies. Moreover, the companies that cooperate with the Ivy schools has more speaking right about enrollment because such companies will donate to the Ivy League schools every year. Fourth, individual parents donate to the uh, Ivy League schools, the Ivy League schools should very strictly examine the source of parents' fans, whether it's a legal income, whether it's a suspected um, money laundry. However, such companies cheat uh, ignoring to parents in the name of donating money to their target university. And cheating in the name of being very attractive, if you are a parent with great strength, financial strength, and you want your child to be admitted to a Ivy League schools as an undergraduate study student, you can consult us if you want to go through the donation route. But if you cannot distinguish the authenticity of the intermediary, and we will charge a basic consultation fee to have students, have students and parents identify the authenticity of the donation. Entering into the Ivy schools as an undergraduate study student, not only to donate to the target colleges, but also need to give the head of admission officer or the dean of department. For example, the dean of business school. We also need to give these people benefits. In addition to the donation front door, also need to go side door because this head of departments also affect the admission results. They cannot be ignored, especially the application for Ivy League school undergraduate study. Every link cannot be wrong. Parents who pay bribe directly to the admission office themselves will be kicked out immediately and looked down upon. Admission director or dean of departments do not cooperate directly with the parents at all. They collaborate only with long-standing relationships. The second kind of real guarantee admission is a side door I mentioned above. Only through the personal relationship of the recruitment admission director or the dean of department directly give the benefit to individuals, not through the donation to the target university. If we only donate to the target university, but the core people who also, uh, who also decided the admission results, would they be very happy if they do not get a penny paid? The admission committee members to vote decide to admit or not. 
Although the admission committee is composed of about eight to twenty people, including admission director and its subordinate staff, director of the departments and its subordinates, but the director of admission officer and the dean of departments, their likes and dislikes, most of the subordinates of their departments will follow. So the real decision is the final decision is made by two core people. Admission director and the dean of department. Only through the side door uh, is usually used for application to non Ivy League schools. It also can be used for applying to Ivy League schools undergraduate study. However, for applying for Ivy League University as an undergraduate student, in addition to go through side door, also need to donate to target university and college. If you are a rich parent and willing to pay a lot of money for your children to the world famous university, but you should be more careful in the next operation because fake guarantee admission agency are hundreds of times more than the real ones. Some are directly run away, some can get offered first, but then students were expelled after the successful admission. So we sum up a total of seven ways of fake Guarantee Automation. Next lecture, we will discuss this in details. We summarize a total of seven cheating ways to fake guarantee animation. It's divided into the first three and last four. The first three rely on fake school transcript as educational historic information, which means the fake educational background to ensure the admission. To build the relationship with the target university is very difficult, so many agencies cannot hold the side door relationship. Instead, agencies directly use another fake school transcript, also called changing the educational background, to submit applications for students, extreme, but extremely harm for students. There are three ways to do this. Now, first way, replace with a foreign so-called real educational background. Simply replace a student's real low score school transcript with a foreign high school transcript to default or cheat the target university, which is usually replaced with the notorious OSSD, Canadian High School Degree. OSSD, Ontario Secondary School Diploma, is a high school diploma in Ontario, Canada. With a foreign academic background, the biggest problem is the students must have a departure record and have a student visa, non tourist visa. But the students, most students, basically do not have them. Once the target university through American or British embassy in students' home country to verify this, the truth will come out completely. It's very easy to verify. It's not a spot check. As long as you apply for a famous university, strictly check every admitted students. In the past, students can take a chance not to be checked, but now every admitted students must have be, must be checked. Just think, from January 2020 to August 2021 was a period of global COVID-19 epidemic with one and a half year online courses. But after August 2021, all students are required to return school in a face-to-face -face teaching way. How to self-justification on that? Some people may say some foreign senior high school also have online courses. People can say four-year study are all online courses. But with all online course education, students cannot apply for the world-famous university. This is a basic common sense. In the past two years, OSSD degree has been crazy used widely. So many top universities and uh, colleges have rejected all the students who submit OSSD because all the students who use OSSD to apply have poor academic ability and difficult to graduate. Under strictly check academic background, even though OSSD school can support background checks, Many top universities have expelled many students who use OSSD. Furthermore, all students apply with OSSD have already not admitted. For example, the University of Edinburgh 
the University of Macau, NYU, New York University, NTU, Nanyang Technological University, and etc. These top universities, however, they have not admitted all the students who use OSSD. This is a very dangerous signal. Even if students get a real OSSD degree through their own hard work, such students will also be involved. Now, there is a lot of overseas study educational institution also launched the OSSD program because there are so many students in large institution. OSSD, so OSSD will be even worse in the future. Now, some students get, do get admitted at first, but many of them are expelled later. Even if uh, even difficult to transfer to other university and students have been blacklisted. This kind of agency also often advertise the exemption from the TOEFL test, exemption from the ELPS test, exemption from any English test, blah, blah, blah. We must pay more attention to. Often these agencies charge a very low fee. Some top grade university, some top universities just can charge 50 US dollars, 50,000 US dollars. Through the quotation, we know it's a fake one because director of admission office, the dean of department, well-known professors on top university will not be moved for just 50,000 US dollars. The second way, Photoshop. Directly through Photoshop software to do a fake school transcript, which only cost five US dollars. For example, a high score script Hong Kong University was used to apply for a master degree Columbia University with a Photoshop software, and the application was successful at first. After the offer was issued, the students paid the final payment to Guarantee Animation Company, and the contract was determinated. But after the students enrolled in Columbia University, the Columbia University requires students to show Hong Kong University undergraduate diploma degree certificate. The student immediately gave the guarantee animation agency call, but found they have been blocked, blacklisted. The so-called Chinese bachelor degree applies a WES short-term certification. This method looks slightly advanced, but it's naturally worse. It's a bottomless pit. The main responsibility of WES World Education Service is to help North American University certified transcripts and academic qualifications international students convert their grades into GPA grade point average of American standard four point, uh, four point full score so that American College Admission Committee understand the grades and academic background of international students who are from other countries. And it can also be used for Canadian study or immigration certification. This method process first is to make a Chinese bachelor degree certificate. It can be checked on the Chinese University official website and a high score transcript but can only do ordinary university bachelor degree in China. It is impossible to make a bachelor degree in China, in Chinese top university, famous university, like 12, uh, 211 or uh, 985 university. Again, with ordinary university undergraduate degree can only apply for the world ranking of about 100 university. It's not able to apply for the world famous university, including the Ivy League school, the top 30 university in the United States, the top UK, UK top five, or we call it G5, Hong Kong top three, Singapore top two. Even if GPA is enough high score like 3.9, there's no hope. The second step after the Chinese bachelor degree and then bribe the WES certification institution, but it can only be used during the short term application time. This kind of WES certification has expiration date. Once the expiration date has passed, the target university will re-verify the student's bachelor degree, require re-WES certification. Means that the students will have to pay guarantee admission fee again. Generally, the term of validity is only one year. After one year, if WES certification is still required, the guarantee admission fee will continue to be paid. Once a student apply for a graduate study in this way, the graduate admission, a guarantee admission fee is 65,000 US dollars. 
And then he hoped to further his study for doctor degree and became a university teacher in the future. However, when apply for a PhD, need to show the bachelor degree and WES certification again, not just show a graduate degree. The student contacted his guarantee admission agency. That agency told him, yes, but the previous WES certification can only be valid one year. If you need WES certification again, pay 65,000 US dollars again. Now, during the four-year PhD study, if this university checks the student's degree at any time, in order to support the education background check at any time, a total of uh, $250,000 US dollars. So this method is a bottomless pit. Even if students can get the offer from QS Water University ranking top 100, like the University of Sheffield or Leeds, but like with fake Chinese bachelor degree plus WES certification, don't be happy too early. Keep in mind that target universities should regularly reveal every student's educational background information. Even though students have already graduated, still can cancel graduation grades, cancel graduation qualification. In this way, the cost of guaranteed admission is wasted, the tuition is wasted, the time of study is wasted. This method of replacing educational background have destroyed the whole life of the student. After offer, those agencies get the final pay, no matter what happened later, has nothing to do with them. Some spelled students is suicide. The last four kinds of forced guarantee admission method. There are two kinds of ways about real guarantee admission, except for donation plus set door method, which is used for applying Ivy League school undergraduate study. The other way is just to set door, also called internal recommendation. However, under the banner of set door, there are too many fake guarantee admission agencies to make up the number without actual active work. And there are four ways, not first, probability. Play probability is the use of a routine application method, but charge the high phase of guarantee admission. After a little improvement, improvement in student material, the students only have high grades. There are also a certain probability applying to a famous university. Of course, it is used for, for apply, application graduate study. Applying for undergraduate university cannot play any probability. As I said before, no matter how high grade the students have, it's almost they have no any chance to apply any graduate world top university, unless juniors like Einstein. Now second, the first academic background plus internal recommendation. Through the fake educational background to apply, there must be no any relationship with target university. First educational background and internal recommendation cannot be combined. Why is this kind of fake educational background brought to light? The recommended director admission office and dean of department will be fired. So no one in the university will be willing to cooperate with the agencies which use the fake uh, background, uh, educational background to apply for students. Through the internal relationship of target university, the precondition is that educational background of applied students cannot be fake. Director of admission office and dean of department consider and take money for safety and pushing the boat along with the current, make use of opportunity to give offer rather than greedy grad dollars in big risk. Now third, under the name of donation, imitate the real guarantee admission to fraud. Some companies treat the ignoring to parents in the name of donating money to the target university and imitate the real guarantee admission to fraud. Treat it in the name of being very attractive. If you are a parent with great financial stress and want your child to be admitted to an Ivy League school as an undergraduate student, you can consult us if you are if you want to go through the donation route, that you cannot distinguish the authenticity of the intermediary, and we will charge a basic consultation fee to help parents identify the authenticity of the donation. Now, fourth, outrageous quote, low price or low proportion upfront fee to attract customers, upfront fee. 
uh, if someone in a banner of said or internal recommendations that they use the school board relationship, don't believe. For the member of a school board, they are extremely rich people. They want to move to buy 100,000 US dollars. The members of a school board only have a few things to recommend. So, but they will use the limited resource to exchange much more interest, like political in exchange. They will use, uh, they will give offer to a doctor of a senator. So don't be fooled. In fact, the price which director of admission office offer is very high. Uh, for example, the doctor of a famous American actress, um, Felicity Huffman, applied 30, the top 30 in the U.S. undergraduate university. This through a professor cost 270,000 U.S. dollars. If they threw a director of admission office and the price is certainly much more expensive. If the price is significantly lower than that price, that must be a problem. The same goes for low upfront fee. Director of admission office or dean of departments also need to receive enough upfront fee to impress them before they act. Some institutions say that they can only charge 20 or two or 20, um, 10 or 20% of total fee as upfront fee is obviously fraud. For example, the total fee, the total price is 270,000 US dollars. Turn to 20% uh, is only 27,000 or just uh, 54,000 US dollars. It's obviously that this small amount of money cannot move the director of admission office. First guarantee animation company using third party supervisor account, escrow account, through using force a lawsuit to cheat all the hard earned money from parents of students, using legal method to cheat money. At present, there are new and more brave and deceptive trick in the market of guarantee animation. This fake guarantee animation agency will imitate the practice of real guarantee admission agency. They do not change the educational background of student and do not make force academic qualifications for students. For example, high school of students apply for undergraduate degree using OSSD in the past and other lower um, high school degree from fake inferior guarantee admission as fake educational background. The first step is to attract parents to get into the escrow account trap. Escrow is a legal concept describing a financial agreement whereby an asset or money is held by a third party on behalf of two other parties that are in the process of completing a transaction. This concept seems avoidable, but the second step is all uh, most of the fans through escrow account superregion than using legal method to cheat all the fans of the escrow account. If all the fans are put in the escrow account, which means that all the costs of the early stage are paid in advance by the guarantee admission company, it could be same. Disbursement. The parent won't pay $1 to the guarantee admission agency. Just think, the cost of the guarantee scores, SAT, SAT, GRE, GMAT, and Sassworth, the earliest cost paid to the contact person insider of the target university, the salary cost, cost of applying teachers, staff who, who are charged in terms of application essay writing, and the rent cost, this four cost uh, as little as 100,000 US dollars as much as 150,000 US dollars. Ask which real guarantee agency has the strength as is willing to take a such risk to pay without actually receive one dollar. Another way is that parents will pay a part of the service fee at first, which will pay about 20 to 30 percent of the total price, and most of the rest, most of the rest will be placed under the third party supervisor account. This kind of approach seems feasible because the early costs seem to cover all basic costs, but sometimes they cannot completely cover. Still need guarantee admission a company to pay the rest of as disbursement. For, for example, the upfront cost can be 100,000 US dollars. The cost of the guarantee scores for various exams like TOEFL, IELTS, SAT, ACT, APA level, GRE, GMAT, etc. 
has already cost us seventy thousand U.S. dollars. So how can the remaining thirty thousand U.S. dollars to pay internal insider of the world's top university? How? What about the salary of the staff? What about the office rent? As long as there is a disbursement, any real guarantee admission company is not willing to do so. Break the cost of bottom line, and finally, there is only one way to go: break the contract. The real guarantee admission company will not pay. Then only the fourth guarantee admission company is willing to, and the parents will fall into the trap has been set. The shocking decay will let the parents lose all. Fake guarantee admission agency are taking advantage of some parents' greedy philosophy. Little or no money to spend at first, and then cheat all the fans. Although most of the fans are all of the fans are placed under the escrow account, but as long as the false guarantee admission agency does one thing, all of the escrow fans will be immediately transferred away by using a reasonable and legitimate method. The euro practice is that. The false guarantee admission agency through a false lawsuit, which is a lost in an economic dispute called fraud litigation, the judgment will require the guarantee admission company to pay huge economic compensation. The amount of compensation is basically is basically equal to the amount of escrow fees. The court will pass the third-party supervisor account, escrow account, immediately compulsory execute, and all transfer the fees and the third-party supervisor account. Then, the fake guarantee admission agency can get all the money in the escrow account because the winning party in the fake lawsuit of economic dispute is just the best friend or relative of fake guarantee admission agency. For parents of students, it's no use to take a legal action. For real guarantee admission agency, although at first the company requests parents must pay fan to the company designated account at a fixed ratio, whereas admitted filler, parents can also use legal weapons to protect themselves. According to the track, according to the contract, parents can request a refund. But if transaction through a escrow account, parents will take risk of losing all the fund. Even if the contract is agreed in advance, that kind of provision also has no legal effect. Parents do not too naive. After all, all the escrow account fund has been drawn away. Parents are left with nothing but helplessness.